Today is the last day of January. This is only the first month of 2021. Oh my god. Now, I already mentally prepared myself for 2021 being as crazy and as bad as 2020. But you know, I was being optimistic, you know, I was like, oh, maybe, maybe this year might be good. <laughs> no, so far, no. At least for Americans, you know, whatever's happening right now with the stock market and the raid that happened in the, um, uh, the capital, you know, that's happening in America. Um, I, I, I didn't really heard too much crazy shit happening other than America, you know. But, you know, since America has a lot of influence and a lot of <laughs> military bases around the world, everybody's affected by this. So, whenever something bad happens to us, it's going to be the same with them. Alright, so I want to kind of talk about Game Stonk. Now, I don't know nothing about trading, you know, so I have nothing, I, have, I don't know what the fuck um, everything means, what the stocks, all that shit. But, all I know is that Redditors came together to, you know, um, get the stocks up for GameStop and to fuck over <laughs> the, the millionaire Wall Street guys. That's why I know what's happening. And what I gotta say is good for them. They like this is this is this is this is more effective than Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> this is way more effective than that shit because you're actually fucking with their money. I love that. You know, like you know these guys can get away with anything and still ask for a loan and get it. But with us, the poor people, when we do the same thing Wall Street does, it's illegal. And this is somehow connected to, you know, the Russians. I have no idea how the fuck what mental gym, gym, gymnastic Jimmy Fallon had to do to think that shit. So yeah, I'm all for it. You know, this is like, it's it's to the point where it's like, uh, what what could I do get, to get money? And then he, when, whenever rich people say, oh, just invest. But when they actually do it, it's like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. So uh, the New York Times interviewed Ninja and he, they asked one question that everybody's talking about. And it's about the nature of his video game channel and how he handles racism, bigotry in his stream chat. So his response, it all comes down to the parents. You want to know who your kid is? List to him when he plays video games when he thinks you're not. Here's another thing. How does a white kid know if he has white privilege if his parents never teach him or don't talk about racism? It's not my job to teach children about racism and bigotry that needs to come from the home. So yeah, I fully agree with this. Um, you know, Ninja can't be a fucking um, nanny watching your kids for you 24-7 all day. He can't just teach them about racism and shit. It's gonna come up from you. Right? You can't. You can't just lazy this part. And like, uh, eh, I already gave my kids a tablet. Uh, they'll learn how to speak with um, whatever YouTube is showing them. Because in the internet, like, you know, if someone's being a piece of shit, that's just human nature. Like, you know, if you if 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 you could do anything you want without any consequences. Yeah, people are going to be shitty. So he, he probably assumes uh, this kid is just trolling. He's just saying the N-word so many times. They're just going to ban him. Like, he's not Barney. He's not supposed to, you know, kneel down and, and tell the kids, oh, what you're doing is really wrong. No, he just responds, all right, fuck it. I'm, I'm not going to even spend time with this shit. Uh, just ban him. All right, next news. Ninja Theory is shutting down Bleeding Edge servers. Damn, that's a game I heard once and then never again <laughs> until now. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that game exists. Uh, well, what's the news? Oh, they're, they're shutting down the server. It's like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> when did this game came out? I think it was like, okay, let me check. It came out in March 24, 2020. So it's not like a year old yet, and they're already shutting down servers. So this game must have been dead a month after the game released. It was strange because the developers themselves said that this is a passion project. So <laughs> they they had passion to make this game. But a year later, they're already cutting it off. Like, all right, just fucking kill it to kill the servers. <laughs> and it was weird because, you know, it's like, I hear nothing about any updates about this game. No new characters, no buffs, no nerfs, no new meta, nothing. <laughs> so it was really like people were just talking about this game when the game came out. And then nothing in between until they finally announced that this game is going to just, they're going to cut the servers off. All right, so next news. Kevin Hart is going to be playing the role as Roland in Borderlands. I can I I can't process this. Like I think the people who are making this are just straight up racist because 
I don't see any similarities <laughs> other than they're just black. That's it. That's all the similarities are. Roland is tall while Kevin Hart's small. Roland is a serious character while Kevin Hart is probably just going to play Goofy in the movie. So in an article which is called Kevin Hart to star in a Borderlands movie, which, yeah, actually makes sense. Now, in the second paragraph, in the first sentence, it says, Now, Roland isn't the most fun character in Borderlands. Oh, my fucking... Fucking... Get, get the fuck... I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. And? <laughs> like, here's the thing. Roland's supposed to be the series character. But, like... He's probably the only serious character. And he's not really a boring character, you know? He's like, he's not even a, like a bad character. He, he, like, you don't, when you look at Roland, you don't think, man, I think he'd be better character if he can make me laugh. And it's like, no, well, <laughs> aren't you satisfied with almost every character that can make you laugh? Like, Jesus Christ, there are so many fun characters and so many funny characters in this game, in this world. Why, why are you looking at Roland like, you must join them. You gotta be funny too. So, we're gonna switch you with a funny guy. So yeah, I, I don't like this, but it's gonna happen. So, uh, yeah. Alright, next news. Last news. Uh, let's talk about cameras. So, um, you know, I, I got a Fuji uh, X-T4. And I'm enjoying it. But, Fuji just announced another camera. It's uh, the GFX uh, 100S. And man, that shit, that shit looks good. Fuck. <laughs> I have only a day, I, I like, I think I can return my Fuji uh, T, um, X-T4 into February 1st. So it's like, should I return it and then save up to get the GFX 100S? And then, you know, I'm, I'm wondering like, no, I shouldn't because <laughs> that, that shit, I think like almost a picture it's going to cost a gigabyte. <laughs> so it's like, uh, you know, I don't have the space. And also, oh, fuck, man, the ca the lens. I'm, I'm looking at the lens like, yo, these are expensive as fuck. But the camera, the, the camera is a 100 megapixel sensor. Jeez, like you could take a picture at somebody far away and then still zoom like maybe 100% and still get a nice looking picture. <laughs> Shit, you could probably, you know, take a picture of someone up close in their face. And then zoom the picture and see <laughs> the the cells in their body. <laughs> I'm just joking, but yeah. Camera looks good. I really want it, but I'm not going to get it. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me Twitch, Twitter. So be Twitch, Twitch, and Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later. Bye.